Mean. To find the mean, simply add up all the values in your dataset and then divide by the number of values. For example, if you have the numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9, the mean would be 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, divided by 4 is equal to 6. It is also known as the arithmetic average or arithmetic mean. The formula is as shown. Best suited for numerical data that is evenly distributed without significant outliers and situations where all values contribute equally to the result. Use case, calculating the average test score in a class. Median. The median is the middle value when all the numbers in a dataset are arranged in order. If there's an odd number of values, the median is the middle one. If there's an even number, it's the arithmetic average of the two middle values. For instance, if your dataset is 3, 5, 7, 9, the median is 6, the arithmetic average of 5 and 7. Best suited for, skewed data or datasets with outliers, and ordinal data, data that can be ranked but doesn't have precise numerical differences. Use case, finding the middle income in a population where a few extremely high earners might skew the mean. Mode. The mode is the value that appears most frequently in a dataset. For example, if your dataset is 3, 5, 7, 7, 9, the mode is 7 because it appears twice. Some datasets don't have a mode at all, or they might have multiple modes if several values appear equally often. Best suited for, categorical data, for example, favorite colors, types of pets, and discrete numerical data where you want to know the most frequent value. Use case, determining the most popular products sold in a store. Weighted average. A weighted average is an average where different values contribute differently to the final result based on assigned weights. The formula is as shown. Best suited for, data where values have different importance, weights, and situations where certain values contribute more to the overall result than others. Use case, calculating a student's final grade based on weighted contributions from tests, homework, and participation. Example, the student scores, 80 in homework, weight 30%, 70 in midterm, weight 30%, 90 in final exam, weight 40%. Weighted average equals 81. Geometric mean. The geometric mean of n positive numbers is the nth root of their product. The formula is as shown. If you have the numbers 2, 8, and 16, the geometric mean is as shown in the calculation equal to 8. Best suited for, multiplicative relationships or growth rates, percentage changes, or situations where the product of values is meaningful rather than their sum. Use case, calculating average annual growth rates over multiple years. Harmonic mean. The harmonic mean of n positive numbers is the reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of their reciprocals. The formula is as shown. For example, if you have speeds of 30 miles per hour and 60 miles per hour, the harmonic mean is as shown in the calculation equal to 40 miles per hour. Best suited for, rates or ratios where the denominator varies, e.g., speed, work rates, or situations where the reciprocal of values is relevant. Use cases, calculating the average speed for a round trip with different speeds for each leg, and determining the average resistance in parallel circuits. Root mean square. The root mean square, RMS, of n numbers is the square root of the arithmetic mean of their squares. Also known as the quadratic mean. The formula is as shown. For the numbers 3, 4, and 8, the RMS is calculated as shown. Best suited for, fluctuating quantities or situations where squared values are important. Use cases, measuring the effective voltage of an AC circuit and calculating the power output of a fluctuating signal. Moving average. A moving average is a statistical method that calculates the average of a subset of data points within a sliding window, updating as new data becomes available. It helps smooth fluctuations and identify trends in time series data. For example, if you're analyzing stock prices over 10 days, the moving average would update daily by including the latest day's price and dropping the oldest. Best suited for, time series data to smooth out short-term fluctuations and highlight trends. Use cases, analyzing stock prices over time and monitoring weather patterns or sales trends. Trimmed mean. The trimmed mean is an average calculated after removing a certain percentage of the smallest and largest values from a dataset. Also called the truncated mean. This helps reduce the effect of outliers. For the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 100, a 20% trimmed mean removes the smallest, 2, and largest, 
100, values. The remaining numbers are 4, 6, and 8, so the trimmed mean is 6. Best suited for, data with outliers that need to be minimized. Use cases, calculating the average score in a competition where judges' highest and lowest scores are removed and estimating the central tendency of economic data with extreme values. Medoid. The medoid is a robust measure of central tendency that represents the most central data point within a dataset. Unlike the mean or median, which may not correspond to an actual data point, the medoid is always a member of the dataset itself. Best suited for cluster analysis, identifying representative points in clusters, robust statistics, situations where outliers are present, and you want a central value that corresponds to an actual data point, and multidimensional data when dealing with data in higher dimensions, such as spatial or image data. Use case, customer segmentation, image processing, and geographical data. Windsorized mean. A Windsorized mean is a type of average where extreme values, outliers, are replaced with the nearest remaining values before calculating the mean. Best suited for, situations where you want to reduce the effect of outliers without losing too much data. Use case, Financial data analysis where extreme values might distort the mean and scientific measurements with potential errors at the extremes. Circular mean. The circular mean is used for data measured on a circular scale, such as angles, directions, or time of day. It accounts for the cyclical nature of such data. Convert each angle or direction into a unit vector in the complex plane. Compute the mean vector by summing all vectors and dividing by the number of data points. Find the angle of the resultant vector, which represents the circular mean. The formula is as shown. Best suited for data measured in cycles or directions, such as wind direction, animal movement patterns, or clock times. Use case, analyzing wind direction data in meteorology. Contraharmonic. It is the ratio of the sum of the squares of the values to the sum of the values themselves. The contraharmonic mean is a type of average that emphasizes larger values in a dataset. Unlike the harmonic mean, which gives more weight to smaller values, the contraharmonic mean gives more weight to larger values. The formula is as shown. The calculation is as shown. Best suited for, situations where larger values dominate, signal processing and image analysis. Use case, image enhancement techniques, the contraharmonic mean can help reduce pepper noise, dark spots, while preserving edges. The interquartile average is the mean of all values between the first quartile, Q1, and third quartile, Q3, excluding the lower 25% and upper 25% of the data. Focuses on the middle 50% of the data and helps reduce the impact of outliers. Best suited for, reducing the impact of outliers. Use case, analyzing salary data where extreme values might skew the results. The midrange is the average of the largest and smallest values in a dataset. Formula is as shown. Best suited for, situations where you want a quick estimate of the center based on the extremes. Use case, estimating the midpoint of temperature extremes over a day. The trimean is a measure of central tendency that balances the median with the interquartile range by giving extra weight to the median. The formula is as shown. Best suited for, analyzing skewed distributions or datasets with potential outliers. Use case, income data where the middle class is more representative than extreme values.